real name, Chang Fang Chi, but everyone calls me Fang. I believe I'm one of the, one of the three leads. <laughs> the whole concept of the concert is to embrace multiculturalism. So we have English songs, Malay songs, Chinese songs, whatnot, and all of us will have an equal share of trying out the very, very different languages. I think I have one or two for each decade, but right now the most memorable is probably um, Anita Mui. Because well, I, was born, I was born in the 70s, so obviously by the time I actually understood and appreciate music, it was the 80s, and she was the biggest in the 80s. It was like Leslie Cheung, Anita Mui. Then the English songs at that time was um, British groups, mostly. I think we're trying to stay as close to the gist of it, the, the original of it. Um, we're not trying to take, too, take it too far away. Uh, arrangements will pretty, pretty much be as close to the original as possible. But I think what we're giving is um, we're injecting our brand of um, approach into it. I'm Tri Aziz. Um, I've been doing uh, theatre shows since 2008. I've always heard of Dharma Orchestra and then I've seen their shows um, and uh, I've been an admirer and knowing what I uh, could do, they, they actually called me up and asked me if I, w I was interested to do this and I said of course. <laughs> I'll be performing two songs that is not very familiar. I mean, the the, the language is not my own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's very difficult uh, for for this one particular song. I have to learn one line every day. <laughs> favorite would be the 70s <laughs> um, because I, I, I've always loved the Bee Gees yeah <laughs> maybe I, because I was born in the 70s uh, so yeah I, I like the 70s songs um, I'm singing uh, Staying Alive so that's uh, that's my favorite song Hi I'm Tan Su Swan the resident singer for Dharma Orchestra we have different different cars from different regions. We have Malay, we have uh, Chinese, we have Indian with us. So this time I feel that it's like one big, big family. I think that the, the, the beauty of a Malaysian is because we are, we are quite strong in picking up languages. If I have to sing the songs that were like in, in, in Indian songs or Malay songs or even in English or, you know, in, in any languages, I will go to the person, to the people who really speak their mother tongues. Because different culture, background brought up, will, will interpret the songs differently. So you cannot be like a Chinese and sing an Indian song, still sound like a Chinese. You have to sound at least the feel of it has to be that, the essence needs to be that. So it's a lot of homework that you have to do. This production alone is, for me, is very, very different because um, of choice of songs, first and foremost. Um, lots and lots of dances this time. Um, we have to dance. Um, there's also a bit of um, acting in the dance and all that, but mostly the choice of songs. Lah. Because prior to this, Dhamma has always done more Chinese, um, Chinese pieces, more leaning towards the Chinese culture. So for those that doesn't know Dhamma, um, imagine coming in into a show where you know all the songs but it's presented by a whole set of totally different kind of instruments, Chinese instruments, and that alone is very, very interesting to the ears. What I can promise is that will be very rich storyline and very, very rich vocal uh, voice presentation and so do David choreography work.